Who'd have thought that there are just moments that we string them together with the crazy glue of our concepts and then we reify or frame it into the picture that we experience? I hope that wasn't too abstract. <sighs> that there are only moments and we concretize them with the crazy glue of our concepts and our habits and our interpretations into, for example, thinking whether it's too hot in this room or too cold. It's very subjective. If you're an Eskimo, it's way too hot. If you're from Ecuador, it's probably freezing in here. Turn down the AC. Everything is subjective in life. That's how Buddha thought. So happiness and sadness go together. They're pairs. They're called in Buddhism the worldly winds or pitfalls. So we don't give in to one or the other. And we recognize that these change. There are just moments, impermanent, ownerless moments going on. And so we can... It's not what happens to us, but what we make of it that makes all the difference. So we don't just get blown away by the sadness, or for that matter, the happiness. We don't get elated and manic. We experience the joy as it flies and live in eternity sunrise, as William Blake sang. The virtue of letting go, letting be.